A small village located in the mountains of Bali is still to this day home to an entire community descended from the same bloodline. One night, in one of the village houses, two sisters were watching television. The younger sister was still in high school, while her older sister was soon to graduate from college. During a commercial break, the younger sister stepped outside to go to the bathroom. After she had finished, she exited the toilet and made her way back into the main room. Something in the air made her feel extremely uneasy, like someone had been following her, like she was being watched. When she turned to look back, she saw a figure, an old lady. She recognized the old lady as one of the oldest members of her extended family. She called out to her, but she just stood there in silence. The old lady had this wicked straight face, no expression, and instantly the surrounding air got colder and colder. Then her form changed and she became the Layak. Her head separated from her body and began to float forwards, its entrails hanging and glistening in the dim light. The girl screamed after witnessing this dreadful sight and she ran back into the main room, cowering in fear. All the members of her family heard her scream and came rushing in to find her. Through her tears, she managed to tell them she had just seen the Layak. Terrified, but protective of their own, the family members headed outside to search for the dreaded creature. They searched long into the night, but nothing was found. A few days later, news spread throughout the village that the old lady had died. According to Balinese custom, the body must remain in the house for two to seven days while the family wait for a sacred day where the cremation ceremony will be performed and the soul will separate from the body. The two sisters, along with the entire extended family, attended the funeral. A few nights later, life had returned to normal and the sisters sat peacefully watching TV. The younger sister then asked, Sis, can I sleep in your room tonight? I'm afraid. Her older sister then replied, No, you can't sleep in my room tonight. Not tonight. But why? She asked. Look, you're not a child anymore, her sister snapped back. You should be ashamed of yourself. But sis, no buts. You must sleep in your room by yourself. Don't disturb me. Do not come into my room. That night, the younger sister tried to sleep alone, but she couldn't fall asleep. She was still haunted by the grotesque vision of what she had witnessed outside that night. Knowing she shouldn't, but unable to help herself, she got up and headed to her sister's room. She quietly entered, and being unable to see anything, she turned on the light. This instantly revealed a horrific sight. Her sister's body was sitting lifeless without a head. She stared at the decapitated corpse with disbelief, unable to scream, unable to move. Suddenly, the windows flew open and her sister's head floated into the room. She had become the heinous Leia. Freshly returned from feeding on the blood of pregnant women, and little children. Then her sister knew that she too could one day bear this curse.